Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mount the Zeus clips onto our front bumper. Um, right now we're going to be working with an 11 WRX, but this is applicable for any supermodel as long as you have the right items and you can have the right place to mount them. So we're going to put this brand new bumper, freshly painted, onto that car for quick release. It should be a pretty quick project. It's pretty simple. Um, I've kind of figured out all the hard stuff for you. So um, let's say, take a look at our tools that we're going to be using and let's get started and get this done pretty quickly, guys. All right, so the t I have all the tools laid out that we're going to be using today. And it's not, you know, you don't need anything special, maybe if you don't have a rivet gun. But what we're going to need is a drill, some drill bits, unibit some cutters, some blue painter's tape, plenty of rivets, and rivet washers. Um, we're gonna use socket sets and end wrenches. We need some flathead screwdrivers, of course a rivet gun. We're gonna need a black or silver sharpie depending on the color of your car. Um, and OEM, some OEM brackets, uh, preferably use new ones just because of the um, quality. You're going to need a couple of nuts and bolts and washers, at least four. And then, of course, we have our actual Dazoo stuff. Now, there are, what I've seen is there's two sizes. There's a smaller size and the bigger size. The bigger size is what we're going to be using. And within those sizes, there's different plunger depths. And I'm going with the longest plunger depth for easier fitment and then of course the Zeus springs okay make sure you have the right fitment figure I've already figured out what sizes you need so we'll go over that later and then of course we have these metal brackets that you can also order from them which I'm using so let's get this install started we'll make it it's, pro it's pretty quick it takes maybe an hour and let's get it done all right so I'll see you guys in a second and we'll show you how to put everything together. We're going to start with the brackets, all right? All right, guys, so let's put together one of our brackets. Um, I just have this OEM bracket plane to show you guys. Um, it's pretty easy to build. Um, what you need to do is take our um, two to Zeus clip brackets. And what I did was I lined them up to this edge right here. And then this, see this little decline right here? And I just lined them up so the outside face would be on this edge. And then I marked the holes with a white, with a silver sharpie. That's all you gotta do. And then what you wanna do is you wanna drill them out, but be very careful, you know, you don't wanna drill into your hand. And then I use these beefier rivets with a flat end to rivet those in just so I can get that extra bracing. And see, it's very stir very, very sturdy. All right. So I did, you know, you do two, one on each side for both brackets. Pretty quickly, it takes you, you know, a couple minutes. I mean, I think the, the hardest part was holding it still enough to mark it. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to mount, the, how to get these ready to put on your bumper and then we're gonna mark everything out and start drilling and then we're gonna get these mounted in so after you do this so after you've built one of these you don't want to put in the springs just yet over here because you want to have this clear take our black sharpie and we're gonna go to our bumper now what we want to do is clip it in like it would be mounted, okay. You see that fitment? See, it just pops in right there. We're gonna take our sharpie. We're gonna mark where we're gonna be drilling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our drill bit, and drill through this side, come back, and drill with the unibit, okay. So let's grab our painter's tape. <sighs> start marking this painting this off you don't want to crack your paint so that's why we're going to be using the painters tape to kind of protect everything
So let's grab our drill bit. And slowly drill. You just want to mark it right in the center of that hole. Okay, so we got right there. Now I'm going to take this back off. Grab one of our plungers. Now there's no need to go fast with this. You don't want to overdo it. But what you need is to clear this hump where the plunger goes in. You want to make it as flat as possible. So we're going to go very slowly. Just a little bit more. Perfect. So next, we're gonna make, right now we're gonna line these up. Now you can either, I found out you can either, you know, do them this way or this, you know, you can put it any way you want. But I wanna keep mine a little bit symmetrical. This is my show bumper. So I am gonna go as straight as possible on here. Like so. And work out both sides. Okay. All right, let's go find a drill bit that will fit these holes. It's a bit big. Perfect. Now, I'm going to grab some of these. Get the nice aluminum ones. That finish makes it look really nice. And I'm just going to use this to hold it while I'm drilling. to rush yourself it's more about getting this right and perfect 
than it is getting it done quickly. Perfect. So, let's double check our fitment here. Uh, that's pretty easily done. Just want to snap this back on. <coughs> Make sure that plunger goes right in there. Let's get these finished up. <sighs> so I'm going to grab our springs, grab some more of these, and you want your washers. Oh, and of course, <laughs> you need this. Now you want to use your washers so you don't rip through the front bumper because that wouldn't be good. Use my shoulder ones. Bumper's plastic, so you don't, or fiberglass if you're using an aftermarket. You don't want to be that guy that built this really nice part and then boop right through there. So some of that because
Remember, you don't want to rush this. You want to get it right. <coughs> if you rush it, that's how you screw it up. And remember, once you drill these, it's, it's permanent. You don't, you know, unless you want to get body work done. Very nice. See, pretty steady. Let's get this last one on and we'll see our fitment. Now the worst thing you can have happen is have the fitment be wrong. It means you have to pull everything apart. Uh, more than likely it means you screwed up major. So I'm trying to get your fitment correct for the first time. Okay, now let's grab our flathead and we'll see how it fits. Uh-oh, wait, wait. Some push looks like it. Ha ha! Perfect.
now that we've gotten our clips under our bumper, it's time to get this onto the bumper. Now what I had to do was, you see those nubs right there? Those were what was yanking out. So what I did, I had to trim them and drill them out on both sides. And I'm gonna use now nuts and washers and bolts to get them in. So, let's see if we can look. So, let's get this bolted in. Make sure you have washers. And, of course, it's some nuts. Now, you know, you want to hand tighten everything. Fancy with it. You know, make sure your washers can fit all the little crevices. So what we want to do is before we tighten everything, we kind of want to pull it to the edge so we have kind of the correct placement of this. And of course, the tighten everything down. and tight And these are nice, they're pretty easy to fix. If you break one, you can buy a new one. All you gotta do is bolt the is rivet these back on. You pull them off of your drill them off of here, rivet them back on, cut the nubs off, put in your bolts. Maybe get new bolts if you break them. I wish they were just made out of metal or something, something a bit more durable. Okay, well let's get the bumper back on. We'll check our fitment. Make sure everything's a okay and we'll show you guys the finished product all right so stay tuned all right guys so as you can see got this side done and this side let's see how our fitment is and let's get it on there um put some jack stands and pull that jack out and hopefully everything's kobayashi all right, so we'll see you guys in a second. Boom, fitment. Look at how nice that looks. Mm. 
clean. Very, very nice. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a fun summer.